Hello, welcome back. This week I'll be tackling this lovely big large canvas. It's primed and ready and dry and I'm going to start working on it today. And the other thing that I'll be concentrating on this week is the piece that I was working on last week. I've put in a few extra sub bars for um, strength and there's another couple that need to go uh, along here and here. And also the other side needs to be welded for uh, stability. So I'm going to rewind, show you what I've been getting what I've been doing to get to this point. So I'm just editing the vlog now, um, I'm at home, and I just thought I would kind of explain a little bit more what's going on here. Because this weekend I'm um, really busy, I'm helping my brother-in-law move across to Zurich, and I'm just a bit overwhelmed with everything because I've basically had to make two vlogs this week, because by the time I get back on Tuesday there'll be no time to record any thing of what I've been up to. So this vlog feels a little bit rushed and I just didn't want to post it without explaining um, why that was. So yeah, at this point I've just primed the canvas that's got rabbit skin glue on it now and then it dries for 24 hours and I jump back into the studio again tomorrow, well in the perspective of this video, actually yesterday in reality for me. So I jump back in and then I, uh, yeah, I'm going to start working on the, on the painting of the surface. Yeah, I just want to apologise for the kind of rush nature. I don't know if you notice it, but I really notice it. Usually I construct these vlogs over a series of five days or so and pick and choose which project I want to do. And I suppose with this, I've kind of... Um, I'm jumping around a bit. I'm doing a bit of painting. I'm doing a bit of welding. There's this and that. And the, the storylines are kind of interweaving. And I don't know if um that's entertaining or not and there are also a lot of time lapses because that's basically what i've been doing there's not been a whole lot of thought process going into it it's just been the you know the graft of physically having to do the work and i suppose that's also part of life as an artist it's not all um concept driven a lot of the time it is that necessity to have to just put in the hours and 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 get the work done but i feel a bit more comfortable sharing this with you now i've explained why, um, well, one, the video's so sporadic and, and also quite short. So, I'm going to jump back into yesterday's work in the studio where I'm finishing the welding and uh, working on this new painting, which, by the way, is actually a very, very lovely painting. It's, um, yeah, a long time since I've worked on a canvas uh, of this scale. I used to do very, very large paintings um, several years ago, um, two meters by two meters. And there are certain limitations with my studio size because it's a basement and there's only a, a very small door uh, in the roof of the basement, so the floor of the first floor, to get down. And you're basically limited to a two meter by one meter width. Uh, and this is around, I would say, Ooh, 1.2 by uh, 1.2 meters by a meter so it is you know it's quite substantial for the studio space and um, yeah I'm used to working at about a quarter the size for the past four or five years so it's quite refreshing to be able to work on that scale and I've really kind of ran with the squares and realized that um, yeah to do it a bit more looser and more flowing um, actually fits especially on this large scale so, yeah, I'm very proud of the undercoat that I did yesterday, and I hope you um, equally like it. So, I'm gonna jump in.
that's now the welded frame and also the first coat of the first coat of this piece completed. Yeah, I'll wait a week or two until the first layers dry before I start reworking it a bit more. I quite like the sort of more sporadic nature that's going on here and it's very um, kind of intuitive because I'm working on this scale. It's a bit bigger than I've worked in the past couple of years and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge but it's quite um, nice. It lends itself to a bit more of a loose um, structure. This has all of its, um, yeah, uh, the strengthening bars on it. So in the next week I'll be working on the surface. Uh, I'm quite happy with the welding. It's basically getting there now. I've kind of learned what it is that I'm doing. It's still kind of rough, but you can see like that line that's, that's running along there. And that's not been there before. It's, it's been all like dotty and spotty. Um, so I'm quite happy with that, how, how the progress with the welding is being made. But yeah, all in all, just a few bits and bobs of what I've been up to this week. And uh, yeah, we'll be back here next week continuing with that. So hope to see you then. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye then. <laughs>